Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Xenonauts. So, we shot down a few carriers, raided one, got all the stuff out of it, which is great. Um, now, we're mostly just saving up to upgrade our Air Force, get a bunch of these things flying around. Um, may as well just kick the speed all the way up while we wait for that to happen. Carrier full of Androns and Herodons. I don't want to deal with that. We're just going to shoot it down. Thank you. And then airstrike it for money. Okay, a couple more of those and we can afford another uh, Marauder. Fill out our roster at Alpha. Ah, Carrier. Carrier is a very large UFO, crewed by a similarly large number of extraterrestrials. As the name implies, it carries a pair of interceptor escort craft that launch when the mothership is threatened. The configuration of the carrier is reminiscent of the landing ship, in essence little more than a very durable cargo-slash-transport ship, though the hangar, bays, and launch tracks fill considerable space. Oh, so that would be... That's why the second floor isn't accessible, because that, I guess, is where they store the fighters. Um, the carrier still has the capacity to carry a sizable terror team or enough equipment to construct a large facility on the surface of our planet. The lower levels contain cargo space, crew compartments, and three possible entry points, whilst the important systems are located on the upper decks. Craft's command room, fusion reactor, and hyperdrive. Two electromagnetic launch tracks that run almost the full length of the vessel are used to release the escort craft, craft as required. They are a remarkable piece of engineering, capable of accelerating a large fighter up to several times the speed of sound in less than 50 meters. Wow, interesting. Alright. Wait for a few more of those to show up. Oh, good, and our new soldier arrived. You are not on call right now. Just go chill out with everybody else. We got a couple injured as well, although they should. Four days, okay. Ah, I gotta make sure my injured people have their guns. Okay, good. Everybody's got guns. And then, oops. Okay, great. Everybody's in the right spot, too. Oh! Oh, cool. We got our next month as well. So, that's still f working. We can build a couple more hangars here because they're fairly inexpensive. And we can start on... Mission Albatross. Start on another Marauder for me, please. Okay, just get that done as quick as we can. Um, we can afford three Marauders? Four, yeah, three Marauders. And then spend the rest of our money on armor and equipment for our guys. Excellent. Oh, laser mass production. Perhaps the naked theft of my research has a silver lining after all, Commander. I've been following the progression of our stolen technology through unofficial channels, and it looks like the combined brain power of this planet has finally cracked a fraction of what my team has managed to create. Laser weapons are now mass-produced on a global scale and are being hastily issued to as many soldiers as they can crank them out of what industry still exists. You can expect friendly forces to be better armed than they previously were. Our projections suggest the statistical likelihood of a non xenonaut soldier dying or being severely maimed in combat has dropped from 95% to 90%. It isn't all sunshine and sparkles, of course. Now that every nation has their own weapons program, successful or otherwise, they are completely dependent on crashed UFOs for aluminum and alloys, making our sponsors our biggest competitors for the resources we need to win this war. Furthermore, the Xeno Astronomy Lab reports the alien armada appears to be almost complete with refitting the largest invasion craft. These brave heroes are a day late and a dollar short. Unless they manage to pull themselves up to our own technological level, we continue to be the best and only hope for mankind. Great. Well, crank out those marauders for me then, thanks. Actually, can I... Oh, I already have two workshops. And workshops hold 15 guys, right? I can't hire any additional engineers, can I? No. Okay. Uh, scout full of civilians. Just throw one of our fox shots up to get rid of that. Thank you. Um, interceptor on air superiority. Okay, we can just throw... Yeah, just get rid of those, thanks. Large cruiser, alright, well. Getting shot down. Actually, hang on, do, our, do these bases just have a bunch of alien alloys and stuff sitting at them? Oh no, they don't have storms, that's right, so it'll immediately, I suppose, get sent back to Alpha. Hello. Okay, hang on a second, because... Oops. Oh, we already caught the cruiser before I got a chance to tell them to switch to the carrier. Okay. Shoot that down, thanks. Um, 
Excuse me. Oh, crap. Um, where is this save from? Okay, I have a bunch of money, so it's after the month ended. Um, and we have all of our soldiers in the right place. Okay, so everything is fine. Um, and it is after I started production on the Marauder. Okay, all right, so we're just going to have to redo some of those alien ship fights, but that's fine. Small scout. Um, sure, I'll throw one of my large cruiser. Um, go. Okay, that's on research. I'm actually not... We'll throw two marauders at it just to see if they can deal with the problem, but we might actually need all three of our marauders to shoot down a carrier. That's one way to find out. Ah, okay. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. I don't have any planes to send at that at the moment, so you're just going to have to deal. Large cruiser ground attack. That one I can deal with. Nope, not you. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't crash this time. Thank you. I don't care about the cruiser, so we're just going to get rid of that. Thank you. Back to base. Again, scouts are not my concern. Just give me the money. Okay, I need to deal with that landed... Uh, I need to deal with that landed uh, carrier, though. Hey, let me actually just make sure, because I think... Ah, you're still wounded. Okay. That's a shame. All right, but we've got all our people here. We've got everybody carrying guns. Let me just make sure nobody's too overweight right here. Ditch the flashbangs because we're not really using them. Really, the only grenades we will want right now are the electroshock ones. You can carry more stuff. Oh, I need to get these mag weapons going, though. So helpful. Um, okay, so we'll just throw flashbangs on people who can carry them. Oof. You, my friend, need some weight training. Okay, we've got four people with med kits on this team. Fantastic. Well, let's see if we can get out there before it takes off. I'm just going to recall that squadron um although they still got a bunch of fuel left i could send them to go deal with the other carrier instead they might be able to make it there i'll just head back to base we'll sort it out later just gotta hope this carrier doesn't take off before uh our dropship gets there air superiority that needs to go away before it causes any troubles for our dropship carrier okay um, yeah, 99% fuel is more than enough, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and then we hit the carrier. Let's go. Ooh. All right. Um, oh, we are at a military base. This is good. We should have some friends backing us up. Uh, I can't remember what was on this carrier, though. Potentially wraiths, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Um... For now, make sure there's nobody standing immediately adjacent to our landing craft. Oh, it's nighttime too. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Great. I can't believe with all our technological advancements we can't make a better flashlight. Well, on the upside, this area over here looks enclosed. Oh, hello. Okay, um, well, Morgan's not going to get to shoot anybody anyway, so I'm just going to have him get into cover as best he can. And I will have... There. Let's see if we can't nail this guy with plasma. <laughs> nope, missed. Okay, plan B. Uh, actually, things that are directly adjacent to the tank tend to have a block chance, so I'm just going to introduce this dude to, hello, ah, Andron's, oh, and there's a bunch of dead soldiers around too, um, I want that Herod and dead first, thank you, uh, the Andron 
actually seems to have started in the back corner, which is interesting. Um, I don't know that I can get anybody to shoot at him right now, unfortunately. Let's just get people. Okay, I'm going to hope nobody's in this little back space here, because that would be super unfortunate for us. So it's Andron's Inheritance, not Wraith's, which is good to know at least. Um, now, there is an Andron, like here somewhere. So we'll set Martin up to shoot at him, and then Sabatini can run right up close. There we go. Okay, so Martin... 50% block. Oof. Alright, that's rough. Good hit. Um, and then Sabatini might as well also take a shot from here. Okay. Um, I'm going to have Lindgren watch our backs here. And Fernandez is going to come over here and help us deal with the Sandron. In fact, if I... He might be able to take a shot here as well. For what good that does us. None. Does us none good. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Andron shooting at my tank. That's kind of what I want to tank for. Oop. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of gunfire coming our way. There's a lot of aliens around. So there's an alien out here somewhere. Nice throw. Damn nice throw. Okay, Martin. Um, damn, Martin is just killing it with these uh, these shots here. Okay, if you set up here, you, I don't think, have any cover. Um, so I'm going to duck you back here. There you go. You've got some protection. Martin is a little bit further away, so she should be in a better spot. Sabatini, you can just nail this guy now, please. Thank you. That means I can have Fernandez... Oof, there's no cover over there, though. All right, Fernandez, get back in the dropship for now. We're going to try and send you guys over there. Um, now, our other problem is that there's a dude around here shooting at my tank from somewhere, which I'm not a fan of. Our tank is also at, like, half health, which is also less than good. Okay, so you can see a good ways down there. This is great. Um, I'm just going to have Morgan check back here, make sure there's no openings. Okay, fantastic. Um, oh, right, this is the team of three. Okay, well, Fernandez will watch that way. Torres, I'm going to need you over here, because we're going to need to track down the sniper before he blows up our tank. Um, tank actually has a decent number of TUs left, so we're just gonna find that sniper. How high up is he? There we go. There he goes. Tanks. They're useful. Okay, Andron. Moving forward. Taking some shots, but missing both. Oh dear. Okay, that's an issue. It's a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of enemies we gotta kill. We've taken out three out of, I think, 20, so. Alright, Martin, let's see if you can bring this dude down. Now that he's, uh, a little bit easier to hit. Nice. Okay. Martin does not play around. Now, there's another dude down here. Try and run some people up to get, uh, get line of sight here. Oh, hello. Okay, just stuck into cover. This is a dude right around that corner. Um, there's also a dude, like, down here somewhere with the plasma cannon, which I'm extremely worried about. Uh, I think we might actually be better off just having everybody get out of line of sight. While we try and uh, work our way closer here. Okay, you guys. Oh, this is going to be a fun trip. Okay, space the tank out. Scuttle it down a little bit. Start uh, moving up next to it. 
There's not really any reason to have extra TUs on the tank, because it doesn't... Ooh. Big radar ray. Um, it doesn't reaction fire or anything, so we may as well just move it up. Okay. Not too far up, though, because there's a someone with a plasma cannon in this area, and I really don't want our tank to get wrecked, so... Just have it kind of loop up and then loop back. Stay near its supporting infantry. Okay, anybody that I haven't moved, you guys don't really need to move right now. I think you're okay where you are. Okay, so there's someone around that corner. Okay, let's see if we can... Well, first off, are they, like, right there? They are right there. Okay, that's actually convenient. Because it means I can do this. Ah, good, he's got friends. Um, okay. Okay, that guy didn't reaction fire, which is great, because that means I can do... Oh, he's got a bunch of friends. Okay. He's got a bunch of friends. Okay. Um, awkward. Oh, dear. Okay, never mind. There's a lot of people around that corner. Um, all right, Martin, you're going to need to find a better spot, like here. There we go. Okay, you can actually see from there, which is fantastic. Because you can just clip that guy for me. Um, Lingren, you can't see like anything from where you are, and I need you to have a better field of view. Just like chuck a flare out here, just in case. All right. Um, now the answer to this problem may be armor. If I can get close enough to use it, which I don't think I can this turn. All right. Well, uh, on the upside, it doesn't look like they're super interested in this route here, which is great because that means I can just have this team like run straight up to this corner. Um, this building looks pretty empty, although the dead soldiers here are not, you know, making me feel better. Go. And then I can pull the tank. Right, let's yank the tank back around the corner so it doesn't get shot. So the idea is that um, I can have the tank run around up here and then start shooting them in the back with these guys while these dudes keep them busy. At least that's the plan. It might not work as intended. Um, can I actually maybe get you line of sight on this guy? Yes, in fact, get you quite good line of sight on this guy. Okay, but I can't I can't shoot him anymore, which is a shame. Alright, just get back against the wall then. Hopefully that'll give you enough protection. Okay. Okay. Hello. This entire mission might just be us defending our landing site from waves of androns. Which, I guess, would save us the trouble of having to breach the ship, so, you know. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say no to that, although that didn't work out very well. Okay, so there's a dude right here. Thank you. There's another dude slightly further on. If I can actually just get you to throw a flare. Nope. Flare. There we go. Okay, up and over there, thanks. Perfect throw. Ah, the other Andron is gone. Okay, that's concerning. Okay, well, back around the corner. Um, Martin, I need you to help me deal with this guy, which you should actually be able to do because you move super fast and have just tons of TUs. So you are the actual best. Ah, he's still up. Okay, that's a concern. Um, I don't have anything else to throw at him for him right now. Okay, such is life. Scimitar 1, let's get you around this corner. Hello, friend. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. I'm really not liking this uh, blind spot we got right here. Oh, there's another Harridan up there. Um, 
might be able to deal with that. Okay, he's still alive, and I can't shoot him again, which is a shame. Unless, somehow, this works. 0% chance. Yeah, alright. I have just enough to use to do this. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That all worked out. Ah, damn. This is just not there's not enough cover in this little area for this gunfight that we're having. Okay, let's see if Martin can get rid of this guy for me. Nope, I do not need you to burst fire. Okay, great. Okay, this all seems... Ah, oh, that door's open. Okay. Not liking anything that I'm looking at here. Either way, we've cleared out a lot of stuff so far. Just have Scimitar 1 forward looking for targets again. Okay. I don't even know where the landing site is. This is a big map. Um, there might be an enemy in this building that we need to go check out. Okay. This is going to be a whole lot of not fun for everybody involved, unfortunately. And there's not a lot I can do about that. Like, there could just be a dude in, in here with the big plasma gun, because we still haven't found the guy who had that. And our machine gunner's down on this team as well. Oof. Okay, you guys. Um... Alright, I'm going to have you stop hugging this wall that you're next to and instead run to this building. There you go. Lopez, you can just follow the tank a little bit. And then we'll have Morgan uh, kind of watching our backs here, although not particularly well, because again, our flashlights are terrible. Oh. Alright, that worked out. Oof, how many aliens dead is that now? It's a fair few. Okay, let's uh, get ready to clear this building properly now. And I guess Martin can just jump up to this little watch post here. Oh, awkward. Okay, so there's like two. Alright, um, wow, she can make it all the way over there. Martin is just really good at her job. Okay, Scimitar 1, continue just driving around in circles until you find things. Oh, you found things. Hello. Ha, take that. Okay, this building doesn't seem to have any open doors, so I think we can ignore it for now. Um, and instead just have these guys run up like so, now that we've identified where there's a target. Uh, Sabatini should just reload. Hello, that's her last, uh, her last magazine for this fight. I guess I can just have, since all the guns use the same ammo, I can just have her take someone else's ammo if she needs it. Okay, nothing in here. In fact, all the doors are closed, although I don't think getting upstairs is going to help us, actually, because we can't see anything. Um, we could cut through this building, but I think we're actually better off no, we're actually better off going inside, yeah. Because that way we can avoid uh, the long sight lines that are helping the aliens out. Okay, so get all you guys in here. Martin can also come in. Oh, or... New plan. Wow, Martin actually missed a shot. Missed two. Alright, but... uh. 
Hello, friend. Um, it's probably worth having this team go to check out the sandbags over here. I still haven't found the crack, the uh, landing site, which is concerning. Um, and I don't like this big patch of open space right here either. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. I guess there was someone in that building. That's got to be most of the enemies dead by this point. We've taken out a fair chunk of them. Oh, and there's the landing site. Great. Okay, which means we still got a lot of map to cover, unfortunately. Um, just rock scimitar one all the way up here. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, concerningly, there's not actually another door in this building, so... Never mind that whole going through this building plan, guys. Going back out and around this way. Um, I might actually just have Martin go back over here. Since she has the fastest legs. Um, and then I can have these two mirror her on this end, on this side of the street. Okay, the rest of you, um, I guess we're better off just going for the crash site at this point. Um, so let's just kind of make our way over there. Hope there's nothing behind this wreck tank over here. Uh, Morgan, you should stay near your squad mates so you don't get, you know, shot. Well, I'm not hearing any more gunfire from anywhere. So we may have dealt with all the aliens outside the ship. Oh, wow. They have one of the big uh, base defense missile launchers. Neat. Also, someone died in here. Which could mean there's someone in this building that we need to look out for. Well, sounds like a problem for our uh, gang, of, gang of dudes over here. Yeah, keep you guys a little bit spaced out. Now, fortunately we've got this nice little sandbag barricade here, which we can set our one remaining machine gunner up at. Um, and then we're basically just going to do the same thing that we did for the last carrier, and blow the doors up and then have everybody run in from behind these things that definitely shouldn't give full cover, but do. Just got to... Mostly just got to get everyone in position now. I feel like I'm going to get some flack for all of the uh, non-surviving local forces here. Okay, well, I'm all the rest of the doors in this building are closed, so I'm pretty sure whoever was in here left. Alright, let's see about knocking this door open real quick. Thank you. And then just having Scimitar 1 just leave. Just go somewhere else. Unfortunately, we can't actually <laughs> see inside because there's no internal lighting on the alien ship. Um, so let's just make sure everybody's nice and reloaded. You're fine. You need to reload. You're fine. You're dead. You need to reload. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. You guys stop crouching as well. Because we're going to be uh, running on in here next turn. I'm, I'm hoping that there aren't too many aliens left. I wasn't really keeping track of, or keeping count, but I probably should have been. Okay, time for the good bit. Charge! Alright, so far so good. Just get in there, find some cover. Same for you, uh, Sabatini. You don't have any spare ammo, so... Alright, um, so far so good. Okay, I don't even hear anyone opening doors. It's probably just the, um, the leader and whatever his, his bodyguards are doing up at the top. 
right, next people all the way in. I might as well bring Morgan in with us. Um, he's not doing anything hanging out here, and it's dark, and he doesn't have a whole lot of cover. So we can just have you start moving around to where you're going to get in with us. Oh! Uh. Okay, we got friends. I think that was uh, Martin that just took that hit. Yeah, it was. All right, we don't want Martin to die. Um, what we do want is to be able to see who is shooting at us, which we can't. There we go. All right, it was worth a try. Um, well, we may as well just get up here, find some cover, because there's nobody in this hallway. Like that, great. Um, Martin. So I know where that, right, he's like behind this, right? Can you? All right, I, I didn't think that was gonna do anything. I don't even know why I tried that, because they can't be suppressed. Either way. Get our last dude in here, and get Morgan sort of caught up. Um, I'd rather have him have some cover than no cover, honestly. Okay. Um, is he going to share us again, or... Okay, well, he's moving forwards. Just knocking over all his... Ow! Knocking over all of his walls. Where's my assault, dude? Torres. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have Torres do it because he's actually carrying spare ammo. Thank you. Okay. Get everybody in here. It might be prudent to stop and heal up at this point. Now that we've uh, taken a few bruises. I'm pretty sure that Sabatini is not carrying a medkit because she's only carrying one magazine. But just have everybody else run in here so we can watch these teleporters. Some of you are carrying medkits. I just can't remember who specifically. Okay, Fernandez has a medkit, so he can heal up Sabatini on his turn. And then Morgan can... Uh... God, our majors can run so far. It's so good. I love it. Cover so much ground. There we go. Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay. Alright, well that guy's dead. Probably should have been a little more careful approaching the uh, teleporters. Yeah, Lopez, if you just want to like... Get rid of that guy, thanks. I, pr I should definitely have held on to some more TUs for reaction shots approaching those teleporters. I was kind of banking on there just not being that many enemies left though. Which almost ended badly for us, but fortunately they missed. So, you know. Lesson for the day, I suppose. Okay. There we go. Um, Fernandez, you can actually get your gun up, and I'd like... Okay, Sabatini can do this, and then... She's still... Oh, she doesn't have a tease to shoot, but that's fine. We've got enough people with guns trained on things in this room, I think. So, we're going to leave our rifles here to watch the teleporters while our shotguns... Just got to check this back, uh, this back room over here. Oh, and Morgan as well. Morgan, can you come in here? I don't, I don't think anyone else is going to come through the teleporter, though. Not after the last dude just got, like, obliterated. I see. Okay, I can see that back corner now. And... Okay, good. This room's clear. Alright. Time to, uh... Get ready to go through these teleporters, then. Fun times all around. I don't hear anyone, like, opening doors or anything. Okay, nothing in the room with us. Great. Find yourself some cover. Great. Cover. 
Also, they don't have any scions this time, which is very helpful. Go. We can probably just pile everyone through because there's nobody in this room. Um, in fact, we can... Eh, I'm not liking those doors at the other end. We've got some cover going, so we should be okay, but... Our, keep our majors at the back here. Try not to let them die. I don't actually know which one is in charge. Martin? You're supposed to have a star somewhere that says which one is in charge, but maybe, maybe it doesn't matter if they're both the same rank. Okay, no gunfire coming our way, which is good. It's kind of weird that the alien ships are somehow darker in the nighttime, because either they have internal lighting, which would mean they would be lit up at night, or they don't, which means they'd be dark in the day because they don't have windows anyways. Which would actually be pretty neat and atmospheric if your guys, like, turned flashlights on as they were entering the alien spaceships. That'd be pretty cool. It's probably mechanically more complicated than it needs to be, though. Hello, friend. Bye, friend. Okay. It's a solution to that problem. Uh, Sabatini's only got three shots left, which I need to keep careful track of. In fact, I think what I'm going to do here is just have Torres uh, drop one of his uh, one of his spare magazines for right now. There you go. Okay, great. So now they both have two spare shot or uh, one spare magazine which is much much better where did I put our machine gunner oh oops he's in the front where he shouldn't be go through these doors. Okay, nothing up here. Just the last two, uh, last two teleporters, no enemies. Still, hold us some to use for reaction fire, and let's start getting people up here. Nobody seems interested in coming through the teleporters towards us. Moving up probably a little bit faster than we need to. Right. Time to get ready to go through these teleporters. Get everybody nice and clumped up so we can all get killed by a grenade. Which, I don't think I've ever seen Androns use grenades. I'm sure they do? Well, I've only really been hit by a grenade, I think, once. And it was by that one civilian officer that one time I accidentally had all my dudes super clustered up during that breaching. Enemies just doesn't seem to use a whole lot of grenades when I'm around. Who knows why? Um, enemy spotted, enemy spotted, enemy spotted. Okay, um, this is awkward. One of them is even looking at me. Oh no, he's, he's vision blocked. Okay, great. So, this is actually a problem because there's no cover here. Hmm. A lot of the cover is gone. Okay. I am not sure what to do about this. Send our other shotgun through, at least. You have a lot more TUs left over than Torres does. Interesting. Oh, you have 10 more base TUs, that's why. Alright, well, that means that I can actually... I still can't get you anywhere to shoot anybody, but I can get you into... Oh, that's a problem. 
What else did we? Oh my god. Alright, there's four dudes up here. There's four dudes up here, and we do not have enough guns for this. Um, Alright, just find what cover you... Oh, okay, there's five dudes up here. Sorry. Just find what cover you can. Oh. Ow. Okay, that's really bad. That's really, really bad. Alright, we need to just start piling people in here. Like, right now. Yeah, thanks. I can see that, dude. This is gonna be... This is gonna be messy. Yeah, this is gonna be messy. Um... Okay. Get our other two ready to go in. I don't think there's enough cover there for everybody to be in this tiny little space right now. But uh, I would quite like our heavy plasma to be in and up. Alright, let's see how wrong this goes. Okay. Okay. So I missed both shots. Enrons are shuffling around. Okay, the Enrons are retreating. Sort of. Hi. All right. Well, that was not at all how I expected that to go. Um, yeah, put this dude down. Thank you. And then you're gonna run right back here, so you're out of line of sight. Just I don't I don't care. There's enemies there. Just just get out of line of sight. Thanks. Uh, Torres is not carrying med kit, but Fernandez is, and he also needs healing, which is great. That actually all works out nicely. Lopez, you're going up here. You are going to. Try and take out this guy. <coughs> Damn. Alright. I mean, I didn't expect him to do that well, but alright. Go for it, man. Um, Sabatini, let's get you up I don't want to move forward. Just, mm, I'm trying to think about this. I might need to actually move forward right now. Hi. Yeah, there's a big guy. We're trying to stay out of his line of sight. Okay. So, Fernandez should be able to patch up at least Torres. He might need to wait another turn to patch himself up. Yeah, I mean, he can start, but there we go. it's a little bit. Um, so in the name of staying out of that dude's line of sight, let's get you in the middle here. Is that another Andron, or is that just one that moved all the way back there while I wasn't looking? Okay, you should be fine there. You've got cover, although you're awkwardly close to that Andron, which I'm not a fan of. Morgan... If you wouldn't mind bringing the big guns up here, and you're going to hang out off in this corner for a second. Oh, you can see someone. There's a big thing in the way, though, so it doesn't matter. And Martin. Get yourself set up back here. Can you... Okay, you can't see the big guy. You can't see anyone. That's fine. I don't want anybody to be visual right now. Good hit. Oh, no. Well, they're kind of funneling out into us, but... Ah, damn it. Okay, there's four Androns in there, plus the Harridan officer, who's thankfully not doing anything at the moment. Martin, this was a really bad time for you to start doing things. Oh my god, he's still alive. Alright, Fernandez, um, patch yourself up. Real quick. Thank you. Get your gun. Thank you. And then... You need to hopefully shoot this guy. Great. Oh, you're just standing right in the middle of their line of sight now. Oh no! If that dude fires his big plasma gun, we're in a lot of we're in a lot of trouble. All right, Torres, you're gonna deal with this dude. Oh, awkward. Um, Lopez. If you would be so kind, there's not really a good place for you to stand to do this. That will have to do. He's still alive. Okay, this is a problem. Nope, I can't melee. Um. This is a big problem. That dude is still alive somehow. And he's standing, like, directly next to two people who can't shoot. Um. I <laughs> Torres, can you just get out of the way? <laughs> this is... 
<laughs> Lopez, I'm sorry, this might hurt. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything is a-okay. Okay, so there's two Androns and the Harridan leader, who has not done anything as of yet. Um, Lopez, you need cover, like right now. And then watch that way for me. Thanks. Um, Morgan can't see anything, although we could just start knocking this wall down with plasma fire. And I'm just going to have Torres. Hi. Um, let's get you guys some cover as best we can here. Martin, see anything to shoot? Martin, oh, Martin can see their leader. Yes, take the shot. I believe in you. Nope. Nope, she tried. Well, try again. Nope. Got closer that time, but nope. Alright, how am I going to force my way into this room with two Androns and the Herod and Leader? Three Androns, I think there's another one over in this area that I can't see right now. Okay, just everybody, just kind of keep your head down for the moment. You know what? We're going to try and blow a hole in this wall. No. Oh, we suppressed their leader, though. And Lopez, but that's fine. Hello. Okay, that's one down. Nope, oh, no luck there. Okay, Harrod and leader is back into a corner. Um, you know, just having Morgan shoot at him through the wall seems to be working for us. Didn't do anything that time. Okay, that's fine. Oh boy. This is a messy one. Um, you can see him, which is actually a concern. You also need to reload. Alright, Fernandez, let's get you up here so you guys aren't super clustered up in case that plasma cannon fires. We can see that dude. Um, Martin. Where can I get Martin where she might be able to see that guy? If I just have her duck out of cover for a sec. Yes! Alright, back in cover. I don't want you getting plasma cannoned. Okay, anything else that needs doing? Uh, Lopez, can't see anything, that's fine. Okay, these dudes are just kind of shuffling back and forth in here, not shooting at me, which is kind of ideal. Um, he is not suppressed anymore. Oh, here goes the fun bit. Oh, okay, you have a lot of friends over there. Oh, there's another one all the way in the back. Oh my god, this is where they've all been just chilling out this whole time. Do you have any grenades? You don't have any grenades, of course. Okay, just uh, shoot this guy. Thank you. Oh, damn it. Alright, well, I mean, we got rid of the dude with the plasma cannon, which is great. But, uh, he's got a lot of friends. Do you have any grenades? Nope, that's not what I want. Do you have any grenades? You have grenades? Great. Can you throw them? No. Okay, just hang out there for a second then. Oof, this is uh, a costly mission so far. I really want these walls to go away. Oh, Morgan needs to really cool. I need to get Morgan somewhere where he can see into the room. Oh, please all stand next to one another. You have no idea how happy that would make me. Okay, let's cover right here. Okay, so this means Lopez can do this and not actually be able to hit any of them because it's slightly outside of his range. How many T's does this cost? 36. Okay, so you can do this. There we go. Okay, grenade. This guy. This hits. Nope. Okay. Alright. Um, sure. Okay, I need Morgan. Oh, I can see that guy. Alright, I'm gonna bring Morgan. This is risky, but I'm gonna bring Morgan up here. Just have him set up to hose these dudes down on the next turn. Um, and Torres. E 
in like any of these positions, but I want to make room for to get Martin in here so that she can also be shooting at things. There we go. Alright, this is... Great. Less great. Much less great. Very much less great. Okay, we're wrecking everything in the bridge, which is nice. Alright, thank you for cutting me to Scimitar 1 there, he is very helpful. Um, let's try getting rid of this dude first. Because you can see everybody, you can see him, you can see him if we get the other dude out of the way. Martin should be able to deal with this guy who's already injured, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so, bring you up like so, and then... Great. Oh my god, they get so many reaction shots. Alright, Martin, let's get you in like this, and you're out of ammo. He's still alive. Okay. Great. Alright, one enemy left to deal with here. He just decided to sit in a corner, which I'm 100% okay with. Hose him down. Please, mission complete. Oh my god, everybody died. Oof. Oh, that was a rough one. I mean, we kept our high-ranking people alive and Corporal Lopez, but, oh man, that was... That was bad. That was bad. Oh, we recovered a carrier data core, though. That should be useful. Anyways, that's probably a good place to call it for right now. Um, Actually, let's just kick the time up and let our uh, squadron deal with this carrier real quick. Here we go. Give me some extra money. Okay. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.